Hello everyone, this is Bruce and Benny, and uh, currently waiting on him to arrive today. Uh, apparently he's running late, which I'm not buying one iota. Anyway, welcome to the show. Today's, uh, today's discussion is standardized intuition, as it turns out. Um, I think that standardized intuition, first of all, let me say how chaotic the mind actually is. I mean, think about it, right? All we've been trying to do as a society is standardize, you know, set standards, goals, but why? I mean, is our mind really that chaotic? I mean, it might be, you know? I don't know. You might think that an idea like this is a little shortcoming. I mean, you would assume that you knew enough about it to where you wouldn't get involved that much, right? I mean, chaos. Who wants to be involved in that? Especially all the time, right? I don't know. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe to a point when we say we don't want to be involved anymore, really all we're saying to ourselves is, I've gotten over it, you know? But is that a standard that we should set for ourselves? You know, what kind of intuition would we use there forth, you know? I think we run into a wall personally because anytime we try to standard some, some kind of chaos, it's like we're really trying to control the uncontrollable, you know? I mean, everybody knows things like that, but we still do it. Maybe that's why we've been so successful at something so dangerous, you know, is to understand something completely out of control like chaos, you know, or standardization for that matter. I mean, wouldn't you fight fire with fire? You know, I think it's a pretty good point. You think of standards and standard, the word itself is uniform, straightforward, linear. It's not, really isn't. I don't even think that's the result, honestly. I mean, what is organized chaos but chaos? I don't know. I'm kind of amped today. I gotta, be, I gotta be honest. This whole chaos thing's really got me going. You know, it's like, you get to a certain point in life where these things, quote unquote, mean something. You know, is it because of the standards that everybody sets or is it because of your own standards? Were they always there in that form? You know, these standards that you've, you've come to galvanize your intuition with? I mean, what's, what side of the coin is the chaos and the other standard, right? Does it matter? It should. It makes a difference, I think. I mean, there's a result. You know, we're all comfortable with duality, but are we talk comfortable talking about it? You know, I don't think you have to be over anything to talk about it, but you definitely have to have some kind of understanding. Unless you were trying to understand. And then you're on which side of that fence, right? Here's a perfect example of chaos. But it's also a standard because it's the way we deliberate. You know, it's the way we deliberately debate, you know? We don't have to be politicians to have standards and laws. The way we don't have to be teachers or law enforcers to have some kind of control over chaos. But we do have to be students in order to effectively question our understandings of chaos itself, don't we? Because, I mean, anytime you approach something dangerous, you kind of want to take a little bit of caution. And what better way to do that than to treat it as something you're learning from. Something higher than you, you know, that you put on a pedestal. You give the honor of talking to you, right? Standards are important, I think. But I think chaos is more important. I think, you know, the chicken and the egg thing doesn't apply here. I don't think either of those came first. I really don't. Because if you think about it in life... When you take something as like an acknowledgement of a standard or an understanding of chaos, that happens in life, doesn't it? So it doesn't matter which came first. They both have a, a multiversal, um, let me see, what's the word? I don't know. They have a relationship is what I'm trying to say. Multiversal, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to claw in at the wind for... A better handle for you guys, you know? And what are you thinking right now? I mean, do I even have to 
Do I even have to question that? I, I don't think I do. That's another relationship, you know? Standardized chaos is a good thing, is what I'm trying to say. It really is, you know? It develops what you're trying to do as an observer. If you're going to ride the wave of some kind of paradigm or society in which ideas are shared but they're they come at different times when you don't really expect them they're, they're, they're chaotic you have a standard of understanding them and collecting them and analyzing them you know it's a very important relationship there but it also doesn't leave a lot of room for error you know it doesn't leave a lot of room for fun it's mostly function right I don't know. Maybe that's why enlightenment is such a touchy subject. I mean, a fighter, right, for instance, fights and has friends. And you know what? The fact that that fighter gets angry and fights is completely different from someone's opinion of his emotional outbursts. When you go to somebody and I'm going to leave you with this in a minute. When you go to somebody that you presumably don't know, and you present a chaotic standard to them, are you really thinking, is this a good time for this? I mean, every time you've ever done that, right? Most times, you thought it was imperative, pertinent, relative. It's chaos. It's the wrong time. Remember that. Anyway, I'm cutting it shorter here today, guys. Not even seven minutes into this thing yet. Still waiting on Benny, but you know what? I'm going to do him a favor and cut the show short. That way, if he ever does show up at the eighth minute, I'm going to say that, hey, you didn't miss a damn thing. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want you to have a good day. Better day than yesterday. I want you to have a better day than tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a great day. Peace. Now for a break. 